What's happening? I'm Chom Time, and welcome back to another episode of the Chom Time Restaurant Review. Once again, I'm in Durham, North Carolina, and according to Google, this is the number one southern restaurant in Durham, North Carolina. With a 4.2 star rating and over 800 reviews, this restaurant seems like the place to be. For most, but not all. There is a small percentage of people that say that although this is a southern restaurant, the food lacks the southern taste. And in some occasions, they lack southern hospitality. Me not like bad service. So I said, why not come down here to Durham and try them out? Today's Take a Review comes from... It's a southern thing, man. Welcome to the show. So first on the list, this right here is really interesting. This is a jalapeno brine fried chicken sandwich. Just want you guys to see it right there up close and personnel. This actually looks more like a Popeye's chicken sandwich, man. Now the jalapeno brine chicken sandwich includes homemade pickles, leaf lettuce, roasted garlic ranch served with a side of hash browns, ritz, a collard. And not to mention, it cost me $14. Okay. The chicken was big, juicy, crunchy, the bread was toasted, and all of that. I mean, there was literally no problem with the sandwich itself. But you definitely lied to me. This is not jalapeno brine chicken. This is just regular smegler chicken. Now, why'd you lie to me? Hmm? I see what you tried to do, and I really hope this isn't the case. You gave me a fried chicken sandwich. A humongous fried chicken sandwich at that. And you put the jalapenos on the side. Was you, was you... Was you was you expecting me to do it or something? Cause this is just this is just a plain ass piece of chicken. A waste of a freaking bird, man. How could you? How could you? Cause th this this shit ain't right. Clearly y'all didn't give a damn about this bird, man. And for that reason, I gotta give this a four. <laughs> Haven't had steak in a while, so what do I do? I decided to get deep fried steak. Just so you guys can see the chicken fried steak right there. There's a lot of gravy going on in this mug. Let me just tell you what this right here includes. Deep fried steak over hash brown smothered in country sausage gravy served with scrambled eggs and fresh fruit for $15. The eggs were good. The hash browns were good. They were tossed in like, looks like red peppers and onions. Great. The deep fried steak, well, let's just talk about it. Deep fried steak was definitely overcooked. 100% hands down. And on top of it being overcooked, it was extremely salty. Not only was the steak salty, the hash browns were salty too. Not sure what happened there, but you gotta be smacked. I mean, you, 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 you. Smack them again. The gravy on here surprisingly was very good. It wasn't runny, it was nice and thick. The sausage had some flavor to it. I mean, the sausage gravy was okay. But damn, you just dropped the ball on everything else. Yeah, whoever cooked this must have been watching TV or something, because they, they clearly, they clearly fucked up. Deep fried steak gets a six. Couldn't come to a southern restaurant without getting these shrimp and grits. Hopefully you guys can see it right there, man. Couldn't pour it down too much because it is definitely juicy. Now the shrimp and grits include cheddar grits, shrimp, andouille sausage, paprika, roasted tomatoes, poblano peppers. For a whopping $16. I ain't too bad, but you know, let's just see how this thing tastes though. You know what, baby, you look good. Mm -hmm. Nah. So this is the one thing that I wish you guys did not f on, but you did. The grits was good. The shrimp was good. The peppers were good. The sausage was good. Everything, all the ingredients was okay. But damn it, why did you not add any Cajun seasoning to this, man? But when you're cooking shrimp and grits, you gotta add a little bit of Cajun to it, babe. I mean, you add zero Cajun to this right here. This ain't southern shrimp and grits. This is just shrimp and grits. And um, I'm a bit disappointed. Looks like you guys added some flavor to the grits, but to nothing else. And that's just... Again, that's just lazy and put it. Shrimp and grits, man, I gotta give it a five. First thing I like about this place is, man, they got the flowers hanging from the ceiling in these nice vases, man. You see this one right here? That was that was actually pretty dope, man. I definitely enjoyed seeing that. Looked on the table, instead of having plastic cups and just regular cups, they have jars. Like, they literally have jars, man. And that was very interesting as well. If you walk towards the kitchen and make a right, it's this big sign that says patio. And if you walk outside, the views are great. They got games everywhere. They got a grill out there. Not sure if the grill is a part of this restaurant, but it's, it's there. So if you guys come here, definitely sit outside, man. It's definitely a beautiful view. And they also have a 96.0 sanitation score, which is all right. It's pretty good. Of course, with the likes, we got to talk about the dislikes. The bathroom in this mother was hard. Horrible. It was a huge leak in the bathroom. I was gonna take a picture of it in the video, but I decided not to because I don't want to risk dropping my phone in that. Shit. 
it it was water everywhere and quite frankly as you already know i almost slipped and bust my ass again so i'm gonna need for this restaurant to definitely get on y'all job and clean up the bathroom you guys call yourself a southern restaurant but you guys lack the southern quality of food this is definitely a thing i wouldn't i wouldn't necessarily call it a southern thing you guys got a whole lot of potential don't get me wrong you guys gotta start adding a lot of flavor to this food man because what i had today was just it was so again, get your act together, man, and uh, start putting some love into this food, please, because right now you, you you lacking right now. Would I recommend this restaurant to you guys? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say yes, and then here's the reason why. The vibes in this restaurant is just on point. I got to tell you, man, if you want to come here and relax and have a drink and just chill, this restaurant is for you. But if you're looking for true Southern food, you might want to go elsewhere, man, because this this simply ain't it. That concludes today's Time Time Restaurant Review. For more vlogs, recipes, and content, Hit your boy up on YouTube, all right? And of course, if you want to submit a restaurant for me to review, hit me up on Facebook at Chime Time or hit me up on Instagram, Mr. Chime Time. And that's why all my fans love you guys so much. Thank you for the support. Be blessed, and I'm out of here. Peace.